I'm almost done with this Honda Shadow. Uh, I've got a few more things to do to it. One, I need to install the side cover, polish it, and install the cover. It took me about two months to find a replacement side cover that was reasonably priced. Um, got to do a minor adjustment on the carburetors. And uh, a few months ago, I did a video about the horns. Finally found some replacement horns online that actually work, so I got those installed. And uh, in this video, what I want to do is um, open up the old horn and show you exactly why these things stop working. This is the uh, old horn. Um, the horn's basically held together by uh, this metal ring that's on there like this, and you, I pretty much had to pry it off, and you can see where I pretty much destroyed it, getting it apart. But uh, once you remove the ring, you can disassemble the horn. Uh, these horns were not meant to be disassembled. Uh, I wish they were because they're, they'd be easy to fix if you could get them apart easily and back together again. But once you remove that ring, you can take off this uh, spring steel diaphragm and that will reveal the insides of the horn. You basically have um, three main parts to these motorcycle horns. Uh, the first part is this spring steel diaphragm. And uh, this thing gets pulled in and then it pops back out at a certain frequency and that creates the sound. Uh, in this housing you have this coil of copper wire which is used to create an electromagnet. And then right here you have contact points which um, look a lot like uh, the contact points used in um, old style points ignition systems. Uh, the way that a uh, motorcycle horn works is these two pieces are held together by this uh, metal ring here. And when you press on your horn button, current flows into this terminal through the coils of copper wire, through the contact points, and out this terminal. When uh, current is allowed to flow through these copper wires, and because of this center uh, metal core, it creates an electromagnet. That magnetic force attracts the center of this spring steel diaphragm and causes it to move in. When that moves in, this part of the spring steel diaphragm comes into contact with these contact points right here and forces them to open up. When, that op when they open up, it um, breaks the circuit. The electromagnetic field collapses, so you no, ha no longer have any ma um, magnetic force. And uh, when that happens, the spring steel in this diaphragm causes the center of this diaphragm to move out. When that moves out, it moves away from these contact points. The contact points are able to close again, and the whole process just keeps repeating. And that process is just causing these, this spring steel diaphragm to move in and out very fast at a very high frequency, and that, um, that creates your sound. The most common reason these motorcycle horns fail is uh, over time, Corrosion builds up on these points and current is no longer able to flow through the points. Um, the way you can check your horn is take your ohmmeter, take the leads and place them across these terminals and look for continuity. If you have continuity then uh, the points are probably okay, if you don't then they're probably corroded. Um, it's almost impossible to fix this problem because you can't get the horn apart, but if you were able to get the horn apart just take a, a small file or some emery paper and lightly uh, sand or file away the corrosion and that usually fixes the problem but uh, like I said I uh, usually def usually destroy the horn trying to get it apart um, in the case with the Honda Shadow um, it's a 1985 model and the bike is so old I can no longer get new horns for it so I was forced to um, look for horns online luckily I was able to find some on the west coast where it's less uh, less humid better climate and uh, they worked, so I was able to get a good set of um, used horns for the bike. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section, and um, I'll do my best to answer them, and thanks for watching.